Kittle is a premier print-on-demand service. They offer templates and great ways you can easily make t-shirt and print-on-demand designs. But if you're new to Kittle, or if you'd like a refresher, then this is the video for you. Let's go through some big picture concepts here on Kittle to make sure that you're getting the most out of this awesome tool. Now I'm gonna put a link to Kittle in the video description below, just a heads up, it is an affiliate link, and that just means that if you purchase Kittle, I would receive a small commission. The first thing we're gonna take a look at here are the templates. So when you first log into Kittle, you're gonna see all of these templates, and if you're not seeing that, just simply click on the templates button on the very top left, and as I scroll on down, I'm just gonna pick one here at random. Here's a good one, it says soccer club. I'm gonna click on it, it opens up, and then you can use this design, you click right there. Templates are really easy to use. Just remember, wherever you click, a little window is gonna open up here on the right-hand side. So for example, I just clicked on the white background, now I can change the background color. You can also change the texture. So if you see texture on here, when I click the background, you may notice a texture pops up. You can release the texture, or you can delete the texture, or you can change the opacity of the texture. You can also change the way it looks here using these filters. So if you wanna release the texture, just simply click the release button. You're gonna see now the texture now pops up. This is the texture here. You can just also delete it by clicking the delete button. Anything inside the template you can change. So here, for example, if I don't like my soccer guy, I can move him around, I can make him bigger, I can make him smaller. You're going to see different colors pop up. And you can see here on the text, for example, there's group colors. So here, I, for example, I could make it just straight black or I could move it a little more and maybe into the green. If you don't like this actual graphic, you just simply hit the delete key and then you can move over into the elements to add in new designs, pictures. So for example, I'm gonna search the word soccer and I'm going to see more stuff comes up. So for example, I want kicky guy here. So kicky guy now goes in and then again, we can change the object color. A really nice feature too, if I click on Kiki Guy here and I want to match the color of the text, I can do that. I simply click the color that I wanna change. There's a little eyedropper tool and then I'll just hover over the color that I wanna replace it with. We can see now he instantly changes to match. You can also use it in layers. So I can right click on the guy who's kicking the ball and I can move him backwards, forwards, or even all the way to the back or all the way to the front. If I move him to the back, he's gonna be behind the logo. So that's probably not what you want. So I'm gonna go back to front, and then you can move him behind one layer at a time. I can go backwards. We can see now he's moving. If I go backwards one more time, you can see he's now nested in behind the word club. Now as awesome as these Kittle templates are, you may wanna create a design from scratch. And so over on the right-hand side, you can click New Project. I'm going to see standard presets that pop up, different sizes, or you can just specify the size on the top right. I personally like to use pixels, and I'm going to say the width, I'm gonna make it 4,500 by 5,400. That's the size of a Merch by Amazon template. I'll click Create. Over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different options here. I'm gonna click on Elements. That's where I'd suggest you start. And from Elements, you can scroll down and you can see all the different shapes, and you can browse by clicking Show All. So for example, I'm gonna click complex shapes, show all. So here, for example, I can click the waves. I can move the waves down simply by clicking it and moving it. And you can just go control C and control V to copy. And you can just move them over and you could basically make a design pretty quickly here at the bottom. Then you can align these three items as well. I'll click the first one. I'll hold down the shift key, click the second one. Hold down the shift key, click the third one. And then over on the right, you'll see there's an alignment, top, middle, and bottom, I'm gonna click middle. I can also right click and I can group this design. And now when I click one, the whole thing moves around. I can change all of the sizes on them all at once. Let's jump back into elements here and we're gonna click on the top. We can see there's shapes, there's ornaments, there's also illustrations. This is a really nice feature. When I scroll through the illustrations, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different stuff. Detailed animal, gonna have an angry grizzly bear there. And we can see here, you can make an, a really cool design very quickly. And you'll notice I'm not doing anything technical here. I'm just clicking and designing. You can have fun. Instead of worrying about all the rules and the way things work. So just like that, you can have a great looking design. I'm gonna click on the background, click background color, and I'm going to make it a bit darker, for example. Now, if you'd like to make a t-shirt design with a transparent background, then I would suggest when you click on the background color, you change the opacity to zero. You're gonna see now kind of a grid feature in the background, like a checkerboard. That is a background that it will look great on a t-shirt because it's transparent. 
Okay, and another really nice feature that I like in Kittle is the text button. So over on the left hand side, I'm clicked the text icon and we've got two options here at the top. You can add a headline and when I click add headline, that's just straight up text. It's going to be a little tiny thing because I made my template so big. I can just make them a bit bigger there by dragging them and it's just going to be defaulted over on the right. You'll see Roboto is the default text. I can change the text to whatever I want. All of these are free. All of these are included, which is awesome. Bangers is a good one too. Now that's just the word headline. I can change the text simply by clicking inside of it. I start to type my text and it'll pop up. You can also make the text larger or smaller simply by dragging the corners. Another nice feature with the text is over on the left hand side when I click text, you're going to see these titles come up and also decorated. And when you expand those out, you're going to see basically already modified text. So this is really nice. So for example, Golden Times, when I click on that, you're going to see over on the right hand side, when I click the A plus effects button, you're going to see stuff's already activated. The angle has been activated. The drop shadow has been activated. So you can see very easily how to make great designs or just use these ones too. I'm just going to simply change the color here. I'm going to make it a nice bright pink. And just like that, I've got a great looking logo. And let's not forget just at the top here, and I'm going to check out Kittle AI. That's right, artificial intelligence. So what you can do here with Kittle AI is you can search through different templates that have used Kittle AI, or you can create your own. And then inside my template on the left hand side, I'm going to click on Kittle AI and I'm going to type something. Warrior holding a sword generate image. And just like that, Kittle AI has produced an incredible looking realistic design. You could make this into a fine art print or some sort of t-shirt design. And there's all these image styles as well. So here I've clicked on synth wave. I'm going to generate the image again. And wow, that's truly spectacular, a completely different drawing, a completely different style. And you could have so much fun creating black light posters or t-shirt designs using Kittle. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I'm going to put a link to Kittle in the video description below. I highly suggest you check it out. There's so many awesome templates. There's so many awesome features inside of Kittle. I just absolutely love it. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills using Kittle.